Here with Washington State Rowing Coach Shane LaRivier. Coach, your team is finally back in Pullman after a few weeks on the road. You guys competed at the Pac-12 Invitational, had strong showings there. Then you guys went across the country, went to Cincinnati, Ohio to compete in the Big Ten Invitational. Really great results there. Competed against some top 20 teams, beat some top 20 teams along the way. How, what, what did you think about life on the road and how was it for the Cougs and just what was your overall thoughts on the trip? Well, I, I think it was great. I mean, with uh, our winter training trip canceled and things like that, it was actually really nice to be all together as a group and do, you know, have some shared experiences on the road and do some training. And, you know, I, I think it was uh, actually as good as we could hope for. Great weather, really good competition. And I think we rose up when we needed to. And speaking of raising, raising up, those trips allowed you to raise up to highest 15 in the polls last week. You guys are down to number 16 this week. You're going to host a top 20 match against Oregon State. I believe they're number 19 uh, in the polls this week. So coming down to Wawa Landing, how are you expecting this race to go? Kind of give us a little preview of the weekend and just kind of what are you hoping to see out of the Cougs? Yeah, well, it's been a very, very close battle for um, the last two times that we've met. And it's just been seconds you know, differentiating the, the one V and they've uh, had the upper hand in the two V and then we've, they've been closing the gap, but we've managed to squeak out uh, victory in the four. So it is going to be um, wire to wire. And I think we're expecting a huge battle and we're going to do our best to protect our home water. Is there an advantage or a disadvantage or something? Or just having that familiarity with them. Like you said, this is going to be the second time you race them head to head this season. It's going to be, I think the third regatta you've been around with, Oregon State. So this is, does that help in kind of like maybe scouting a little bit or kind of knowing what to expect with them coming up on Saturday? Yeah, well, I mean, it, we, we expect it to be, you know, really, really close. And the last, um, you know, the first time out, they, we got them off the start and we kind of held the margin. And the last time we were wire to wire with 250 meters to go before we finally pulled out a little, a small victory. So it's, uh, you know, it is just going to be a great battle. And um, I think it's, awesome because uh we always want to race you know the top competition and you know they beat usc last week and we missed usc at pac-12 invite so i think um we're definitely going to have to be ready to go and i don't think there's going to be much margin for error what have you guys been working on the last week or so in training about to prepare for this match just looking yourself what have you what is what are some things maybe you learned about your team on the road and what are some things that you guys can fine tuning to prepare for just the, the stretch of the, the season? Yeah, well, with a month left, you know, we, we start to turn our focus to doing a little, a few more higher rate workouts and preparing for sprints and just sort of fine tuning what they've been doing. So yeah, we've been, we've been lifting the rate up a bit and um, you know, just also, being having those back-to-back -back race weekends we have to you know we took last week and actually just increased the volume again because it was hard to get enough training in while we were racing so much so last week was more about just getting back to some real basic training and then this week we've been kind of jacking the rate up a little bit and hoping to get them to to allow them to feel a bit more comfort at more extreme rates and that's just you know towards the end of the season that's really what the focus is, is making sure that we can execute the best possible technique um, at high rates and above race pace. So yeah, it's good. This is going to be the final race for a handful of seniors here this weekend. Uh, you know, it's been a different season than I think what they've experienced, especially towards the back end of their Cougar career with last season going on. Now this year, it's passed it out for the pandemic. What can you just say about the perseverance of this group and just just in totality, what has this group just meant to the program? Just how how great has it been to see this group just kind of, you know, grow and develop into the program? And, you know, how excited are you are you for them to have this moment on Saturday? Yeah. Well, what I can tell you is anybody who is here has really made some sacrifices to stay healthy and to stay training and all the testing protocols and all the rules. And, like, every single person that has made it this far has been incredibly committed We've got great team cohesion. And I would like to shout out, um, you know, Renee Kemp and Sue Yu, Maddie Bingham, Izzy Cristelli, uh, Nora Hefty's a senior, um, Abby Lennon Call, you know, like especially the super seniors, like the, the people that lost their senior year last year, uh, for them to come back. And I think in all cases, they're having their best season yet and really contributing to a lot of leadership and, you know, just 
driving the boats, you know, driving the team forward as only seniors can. So, yeah, it's, it's actually, you know, it, they're a really fun group to work with. They work really hard. And, um, you know, I think they're, they're training hard enough now that, uh, you know, hopefully they get a bit of luck, you know, because they're making their own luck by staying together. And, and, uh, you know, we've had some ups and downs and everybody across the country has had uh, surprise COVIDs and, you know, you know, all sorts of disruptions, but we just keep seem to, we just seem to be able to regroup and move forward. And I, I, I think I can really thank the senior leadership, especially. Great. Well, coach, we appreciate your time here today. We'll talk to you after Saturday's regatta. All right. Thank you.